How's it going everyone? In this video, we're gonna show you guys a battle report between my two sons, Liam and Jason. Uh, they decided on a power level of six and a maximum stage of five. Um, Liam ended up choosing Boo, who is a power level of six, uh, and Jason ended up choosing Dicebo uh, from the Universe Tournament. Uh, he's a power level of five, so he needed to spend one extra point, which he used on a sensu beam. Which um, we realized later, uh, sensu beams are only uh, able to be purchased by Z fighters, which Dice Bow is not a Z fighter. So he made a little mistake there. Really, Jason should have chosen an extra character like Krillin or someone else to be on his team. Uh, but for the sake of this fight, it worked out uh, all right. Um, their maximum stage is um, is six as well. Uh, Boo can only go up to stage three, but he is uh, able to punch above his weight class in a few different ways. Uh, Boo has a unique ability where he regains key every single turn, and so his unique healing ability makes him a, a quite a difficult character to deal with. However, Dice Bow, uh, has a far limited amount of moves, but he as well is very difficult to deal with because of his speed. So this battle turns out to be um, someone who can heal infinitely versus someone who can uh, move uh, much quicker than his opponent. Uh, so it's a very interesting battle between these two to see who will come out on top. Um, that being said, let's get into the battle report and see how it turned out. Uh, Jason, you decided on Dice Bow for yours, and Liam, you decided on Boo. Uh, now, you went with Majin Boo, right? Evil Z Boo? Super Boo. Super Boo, yes, but from the uh, Z, Z Villains profile. Yep. Okay, and you're going to start in the Super Boo transformation. Okay. So, um, you guys can start picking your first moves. Yeah. Okay, yeah, um, good point. So. There's always something so for Before the battle begins, we're going to mark the map. We're going to call this corner one here. We're going to call this one corner two. Then we'll go over to three. Okay, and then we'll go over to four. Four, okay. So one, two, three, four. Um, all right, so. It could be um, any order. Dice Bow is starting in uh, the very edge of corner two. Majin Buu is starting the very corner of, uh, uh, very edge of corner three. Okay, and uh, all right, do you have your moves picked? Okay, um, and you guys may reveal your moves to each other starting now. Here, I'll Three. cut you loose from that. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Majin Buu is jumping over to black within the same square, okay? And he's shooting a key blast, whereas, and, and then uh, over here, Dice Bow, you're using the dash action, which Dice Bow has a special ability Dicebo's special ability is that dash, Dicebo can use the dash action in addition to other moves. So he can dash and do other things. So did you do anything else with your dash? Um, Character? I did white. Oh, you did white. Okay, I touched yours on accident. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so you guys can start picking your next moves. So, turn one to recap, Boo jumped and used a key blast, but that missed as Dicebo used the dash action to get out of the way. Yep, all right, uh, everyone everyone ready to reveal? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, three, two, one, reveal. All right, so, look like uh, Majin Buu ex uh, jumped again. Uh, where, where did you jump? Uh, two. Yeah. White. Uh, okay, over to white. Okay, so Majin Buu jumped over to white and used an ex uh, stretched out his arm to attack. 
Dice bow dashed to black in but one. First I powered up. And so first you powered three. up. Yep. Oh, oh, yep. Smart. Okay. So, yeah, he powered up. Uh, so you spend three. Uh, nope, not this turn. Never mind. You're good there. Okay. Yeah, so you're, you're, the turn you power up is free. So you're good there. There you go. Okay. Um, cool. Um, and then you did. Oh, yeah, you don't pay for that this turn. So you're good. All right. Um, so another swing and a miss, swing and a miss. Uh, reset your moves. Go again. Starting on turn two, Boo healed up his two key for the round, bringing him to a total key of 38. Boo then jumped over to a white square and used the extend action on an attack, which allows Boo to stay in his current area and reach across the board and smack Dicebo. However, Dicebo used his dash and he was able to transform and use the power up option to bring key from his key pool down into his active key. Okay, um, so reveal your moves. What'd you guys choose? Uh, huh? So, okay, it looks like Boo uh, did it. Oh, so you you jumped and you punched again. Okay. Jumped and punched again, okay. Um, Dice Bow, what did you do? Dash is... Dashed and then punched him. Okay. I jumped. So you and dashed and punched him. Uh, very good. Uh, recap turn three. Boo healed his key as usual, going up to three key. Uh, Boo then jumped to the black square and used the extend action once again. However, Dice Bow was now in his light speed form. He was able to dash for free and use the attack action, which is unblockable and unavoidable, which dealt a massive 11 damage to Boo. So he dealt you a total of um, 11 damage. 10 for being higher than you, and one for the punch. And right, when you guys are ready, start, uh, start selecting your next moves. So already, it looks like Dicebo is just hopping around, going wherever he wants, and uh, punching Boo. All right, when you guys are ready, reveal your moves. Center him up on where he's at. Okay, ready? Okay. Oh, beautiful, okay, so. You did a defend? Yeah. Is that all you did? Okay, yeah, awesome. I, I did the same thing I did last time. Okay. Now, so, recapping turn four, Boo healed two key once again, uh, and he attempted to use the defend action. However, Liam did forget that we explained to him defend does not work against Dicebo's ability. He simply is way too fast in his light speed mode. He hits before you can raise your arms to defend. So once again, Dicebo is able to dash over to the black, uh, to a black square within the same area and smack Boo for another 11 punishing damage. Okay, uh, and you guys can reveal your moves. Three, two, one. All right, so Dicebo's gonna do what he's been doing every turn. He's gonna dash uh, to white. So Boo has split into multi-form, however, and that cancels the target. So that does allow... Going into turn five, Boo heals his two key as usual, and Dicebo is maintaining his light speed, which is costing him three key per turn. However, he does have a Sensu Bean in his back pocket, which he is absolutely planning on using. Dicebo is able to dash onto a white square and attack Boo, but it misses as Boo splits into his multi-form, which basically results in Dicebo attempting to smack Boo as he's splitting to, into two separate characters. That results in a unique ability which cancels the target of Dicebo as he doesn't know where to hit. That saves Boo from another punishing 11 damage. Okay guys, uh, when you're ready, reveal your moves. Three. I did, um, I kept my, my, Your form up. my form up, I you, did a dash, attack, uh, Who's your attack? One, the, one. the colored one, okay. Uh, Liam, uh, let's start with, uh, yes. two. So two did a wrap and missed. Now for, uh, boo number one, what did boo one do? Oh, uh, he tried liquidating, uh, Okay, he tried to liquidate Dice Bow, yeah. but Dice Bow dashed, so that missed. Both um, missed. And then, uh, and then Boo One did take 11 damage. Heading into turn six, it's now two on one, as Boo has split himself into two equal characters. 
However, Dicebo is still maintaining his light speed form, which is making him just way too fast for Boo to deal with. Boo attempts to wrap Dicebo to hold him in place, but he can't get a hold of him and the attack misses. The other Boo attempts to turn into a liquid form and jump down the throat of Dicebo, but as well, he is not fast enough to land those attacks. Dicebo is able to hit Boo 1 for another 11 damage, dropping him down to one remaining key. All right, when you guys are ready, show your moves. Okay. All right, is Dicebo just hitting again? Number one. Okay, he's hitting the colored one, and then uh, and then you dash to one. Okay, cool. Um, so I'll pay absorb times two. Okay. So that'll be bring me down to zero active key. Okay. Um, and that will create two tokens. Yeah, let me get you some tokens. One second here. Who, wait, Liam, who did that? First boo or second? Uh, second boo. There you go. These are nice little boo jellies. And then for regular boo, he dashes to one. Heading into turn seven, one boo is at death's door, but he does heal back up to one key, bringing him to a total of two. The other boo is not looking so pretty either. Dicebo maintains his light speed form. Boo 2 uses the Absorb action twice, which allows him to create two extra blobs on the field, which will try and pin down and grapple Dicebo every single turn. The other Boo tries to dodge and get out of the way so he can regain some key. However, because of Dicebo's light speed, he is just too fast, and he's able to hit that Boo before he can get away, knocking out one of the Boos, effectively taking out half of Boo's total health. There is one boo remaining. This so, so this boo has been defeated. We're down a boo. Um, boo one. Wow. Boo one. Uh, and uh, okay, let's go back to choosing moves. Okay. All right, when you guys are ready, reveal your moves. And what did Dicebo do? Let's start with that, since his moves are unblockable and all that. What did Dicebo do? I used Sensu Bean. Okay. Wait, okay. what? Okay, he used he used his sensu bean and you dashed, right? Mm -hmm. I dashed so, to um to white right here. Okay, so that will actually bring you back up to full. So you'll you're gonna be at um in your key pool you'll be at um three four you'll be at um nineteen. Um, okay, and what did Majin Buu choose? Um, he uh powered up. Powered up. And these two jellies attacked. Okay, they, they did a, uh, they, they tried to do a, um, a, a grapple. But they made yeah. Heading into turn eight, it seems like Boo just does not know how to deal with the speed of Dice Bow. He attempts to use a power up option to bring down his remaining key, while the other blobs try grapple actions, but they're just not able to hit Dice Bow as he continues to maintain his light speed form. This turn, Dicebo pops a Sensu Bean, returning 18 of his key and bringing him back up to full health. All right, you guys are ready. Show your moves. Three, two, one. All right, what do we have? Um, I'm powering up. Okay. And then, uh, Jason, did you just punch? I punched him and dashed over here. Okay. Wait, actually. Yeah. Okay. And my jelly's attacking. Um, and they, they missed. All right, and um, and with that, I think Boo just took 11 damage, so that does defeat Boo. Yep, so exactly. Ding, 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 we have a winner. Wrapping up the final turn of the game, Boo powers up one more time, bringing down all of his active key. His two remaining blobs have another futile attempt to pin down Dice Bow, as Dice Bow smacks Boo for that final 11 damage, dropping him to zero key and winning the battle. While this fight might have seemed pretty one-sided, there was actually one thing that Boo was forgetting. He has the instant transmission ability, which allows him to teleport around the map. It will also cancel the target of whatever's attacking him on the turn he uses it. So, if he had used instant transmission, it would have stopped him from getting hit by Dicebo for quite a few turns, and Dicebo's light speed ability would have drained his key turn after turn. So Boo should have relied on his typical tactic, which is to play for time. His key regenerates every turn, 
while a character like Dicebo is using three key every turn. Sure, he has one Sensu Beam, but by dragging out this match to say 20 turns instead of nine, would have bought Boo the time he needed to survive the onslaught from Dice Bow and play more defensively until he was running low on key. Well, this has been an exciting bat rep of DB fight. I hope you guys have seen how this happens, and I promise you, Boo is quite a threat to be dealt with on any other match. He just needed to get his bearings on this one. The next rematch he has against Dice Bow, I imagine he'll use that instant transmission ability and do quite better. I hope you've had fun watching, and I hope you guys are playing this game on your own, with your own friends, your own family, maybe your own kids, and having a great time. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.